Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where we are restoring the 72 Nova. And last episode we got the trunk stripped down all the way to the metal, fixed a bunch of little dents, a few bigger dents. And same with this quarter panel here. It still needs, there's a guide coat on it. it, needs to be all blocked down and reprimed. But for now, the body work's done. And the back panel, too, we did a few episodes ago. So, on this episode, we're going to get this quarter panel here ground down. Put a new patch down here, but we're pr pretty much just going to grind the whole thing. Uh, this is, uh, there's old Bondo right in here don't know how much not a whole lot just you know uh anyway it's gonna be ground down the metal all of it probably gonna run into some rust spots like the other side there and probably have to put in a few patches of metal anyway we're gonna grind that down see what we got and the roof two bad spots well three this spot here was caved in Looked like somebody dropped something on it, and then, uh, well, it was fixed at one time, and then re-dented. And uh, when I was doing the headliner, I banged it up, so the metal's kind of straight, but it's got all the old Bondo. All that needs to come out. It's got a dent here. The rest of it feels good, even though, well, now there's one here, too. You can't really tell until you get it smooth. Uh, there's one dent right here, too. But, this looks like somebody had probably stripped it and put some spray can primer or something on it. Anyway, we're going to go all, all over this with just 80 grit with the DA. But we're going to use this, this grinder here with the uh, soft disc on it to grind all this out and to grind this quarter panel out. And then we got this spot over here. This old Bondo here. You grind all that out. So pretty much we're gonna get all the roof and the quarter panel ground down to shiny metal. Yeah, it's, it's dented here too. Right in here, it's gonna require a little skim. Uh, oh shit, there's a big one here. I don't know about that one. We don't know how many little ones there are until it's really smooth. Okay, so that's what we got so far to do on this video. Probably take a while. This body work takes a while, guys. You just got to be very patient. If you don't feel like working on it, stop for a little while, do something else. It has to be done. You can't half-ass it or skip over steps. Uh, you know, you can't just paint over top of this old crap here. It'll come right back to haunt you real quick. The old crack. So I suggest any car you're restoring, strip it right down to the metal. And uh, last video, I gave you all a, a test ride in this. My 69 Chevelle got a bunch of little stuff work, uh, fixed on it. Now the shifting linkage was uh, needed to be adjusted a little bit and then the uh, modulator valve there the little hose broke so I fixed that and it's actually shifting and stuff real good now kick down works good I uh, got a few more little things to do to it I got a brand new air cleaner coming but I doubt we're gonna work on that just figure I'd mention these and then uh, my 85 Corvette long story on that I got a couple of videos of it painting it it's dirty as hell I'm, I'm fixing to wash it and this damn door uh, power window I've had that thing apart I don't know how many times uh, I even went to change the regulator in it and then the original one started working I think it's the connection the c plug connection keeps screwing up so I had it all fixed, put it back together, and now the window don't work again. So I'm going to have to figure out something permanently to fix that uh, connection to the power window motor. 
So anyway, I got that here, and plus I'm going to order some more parts for it. I just ordered some new hood, hood struts and stuff like that. But I'll probably make another video on this one, because I haven't have a, had a video of this uh, driving yet. So we'll do that later, another video coming up. So for now, we'll get rolling on the uh, on this one here. Uh, I don't have a real big let y'all down on this but you won't be able to see very good I wanted to show you that uh what's underneath this the old bondo here let me let me get going here with one hand I'll show you Okay, in the camera all full of uh, dust. Okay, as you can see, here's the old Bondo still. And they had a, looks like there was a, there's still a bunch here, big dent there. So pretty much I'm gonna grind all the old Bondo out and then with the grinder and then this stuff here, I'll use 80 grit DA. So let me come back when I, Got this Bondo out of there. Okay, I got most of the Bondo out. Uh, what they did was, you can see there's a couple of layers of the original paint, original paint plus a repaint or something. And they just Bondoed over top all that crap, see? Uh, mainly what it was was one big dent there and one big dent here and they never pulled it out. We're going to have to tap around here so we can pop it out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this down to the metal. It's just that my grinding disc needs to be changed. Um, so you can see there's skim of Bondo over top of here, too, over to the old paint. See, that's why you never buy a car that's, or pay extra for a car that got, that someone says, oh, the body work's already done, ready for paint. Yeah, this is the crap they do bondo over a couple layers old paint and it's won't last worth a shit okay so I just skim this I'm gonna set you up right here I'm gonna grind this quarter down here and see what we got before I change my disc so I Okay, I'm gonna grind for a little while.
Okay, as you can see, we got plenty of bondo going on here. Same thing, they just bonded over the old paint. Had something here, which just doesn't seem too bad. This one here has a dent right here. And then this is where I put on the quarter panel, so that's kind of my stuff there. That, and a big dent here, some bondo here. There's probably a couple little dings. No bondo and spot putty there, there. And yet, this is going to be just as bad as the other side. It's all rotted up here. So, we're going to fix this just like the other side. On the, uh, the last, last video, video before. So, let me change my uh, grinder disc out. And we're going to get all of this down to the shiny metal. Um, I run out of rust neutralizer. When I come back, we're going to 80 grit this. And spray some rust neutralizer on it. But I think I ran out. So I'm going to have to run down the store and get some later on. But we'll get this down the shiny metal here with 80 grit here in a little bit. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got it pretty much all ground down all the old bondo out okay I started grinding up here and it's I thought maybe this had been stripped down the metal already but I don't think it has I'm gonna try it so I got the DA with the 80 grit so we're gonna see what's underneath this surface rust looking thing if it's too tough uh, we're going to have to use a grinder and just grind the whole thing. It's coming off, but it's going to take a while. Uh, when you're grinding or doing this, don't stay in one spot too long and get it hot. Even though it's friggin' over 70 degrees out right now, this thing's already really hot to the touch. Try over here. That area didn't come out too bad. Uh, I don't know if you can see this black from that from the surface rust here. You have to just sand it down with 80 and then spray over it with neutral rust neutralizer. Let that dry, then scuff it and uh, prime it. But yeah, uh, and you want to 80 grit all this over the from what you did with the grind.
you don't have to do this where you're going to put body filler on. Like say this dent here. I'll just put body filler over top of that. You don't have to smooth it out with 180 or 80. Same with that dent there. But there's no dents here. So I just figured I'd just smooth that out and show you. Just wanted to smooth as a baby's butt. And when you do your body work, after your body fill, then you just sand the rest with 80, just like that. So that's what we want the roof to look like, but it may take a while. So I'll probably do that off camera. And uh, and we'll start the body work. Anyway, I'm going to do some more work, and uh, I'll be back on the, after I get some progress done. Okay guys, cutting this rust out of the wheel well. Just like the other side. Like I said, it hasn't worn through the wheel well. We're not going to worry too much about that. I got this area here to cut out too. But anyway, that's what's underneath of it. I want to uh, clean all that out and uh, put some rust treatment on it. Then we'll get some new metal and put in there and weld it in. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So the next day. Puppy, you're right in the way. I'm gonna spray some. I sprayed a little bit the other day, but I didn't have enough. So I'm gonna spray in here real good. Let it all leak down inside the lip real good. Okay. And we'll uh, cut some metal and weld that in there after it dries real good. And also spray in here real good. Okay. Okay. Now this roof couldn't see how big these dents were because it was all bondo here uh, when I had the headliner out I could see that dent and uh, I banged it up so this is probably okay right here but this one here is pretty big right here and right here and what it's doing is it's pushing this metal here up so that's why they had so much Bondo, because they were trying to smooth, and of course it wasn't smooth, but. Uh, so I'm not gonna take the headliner out to bang it out through the bottom. So we're gonna go the old fashioned way. I don't have a stud gun, and I'm not gonna buy one. Uh, they're just not worth it to me, unless you're, you know, doing this stuff every day, but. Okay, so. I'm going to use this little dent puller here. To drill some holes. Now, to pull these dents, what we want to do, this one here, probably put about three or four holes there. And this one's about the same way, although it's got a few. It doesn't go with two or three right here. Okay, then you use that puller. I'll drill them here. I'm not going to be able to do everything with two hands, but In fact, let me do it with two hands off camera. Anyway, two, uh, about three or four here, three there, and then we're going to use the puller and pull it up and tap these high spots with a hammer while we're holding tension on it. So let, let me be back after I drill these holes. I don't want to go through the headliner. Okay. I want to kind of start in the middle, screw it in there a little bit. You don't have to go all the way in. We're not, we don't have to put very much 
See it come out. Well, you have to do two or three of them to So what you want to do is pull up on this and then tap right here, the high spots. Same with this. Screw it in here, pull some tension on it, and then tap around here. Okay? I can't do it with one hand. And same with these ones here. And we're going to fill these holes with that uh, Dynaglass, Bondo Glass stuff. It's waterproof and uh, you can weld them up if you want, but it's a little dangerous on this roof because you'll probably burn the headliner out. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to, Put some tension on these holes here and tap around here around the edges and get it pretty pretty flat okay so i'll be back okay i got it all pulled out tapped down the high spots so it's pretty slick i use some more uh rust neutralizer so you can see here i got a couple little rust holes there i sprayed it in there around around in here okay this is the stuff you want to use, the Bondo glass, Dyna glass, waterproof stuff. So I mixed up a little bit here. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to pack this stuff on there. You really just need to fill the holes up. You don't want to really waste it. Now this little area here I'd done before, filled in. Originally it had some holes there. I put a couple more and, and uh, pulled up that one a little bit. So you just need to cover the holes and then you use Bondo over the rest. And as far as these ones here, I'm just going to pack it in there real good. Okay, that's it for that. And once that's dry, well, I put some rust neutralizer around here. This rust is so embedded in there, uh, I still haven't stripped the rest of this roof off yet. But after this dries, you can uh, give you a couple coats of skim of Bondo on here and block it all out. I think I got one more dent here. But anyway, uh, I'll be back. Okay guys, I patched up this wheel well just like the other side. So I'm fixing to put some uh, Dynaglass on it. I cut. I believe it's this piece here. Uh, the wheel well liner there. Just to make it a little skinnier in case I get wider tires so they don't hit. Just trimmed a little off there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. It's the next day. I've been working on it for a while. Uh, filled in all the major stuff. And some minor stuff. I still got to skim a few spots. And this roof is a real mother. I thought it was going to be real easy and just uh, sand off with 80 grit. But man, even the grinder, I've been taking the grinder to it and it don't last very long. I got to cut the grinder down, keep going, and then go over it with 80 grit. So, uh, yeah, I haven't had any of this tough paint like this in a long time but as you can see it's leaving uh, rust embedded in there in the metal so I'm gonna go over it with rust neutralizer after it's all all done but yeah you got to get it down to the shiny metal like this and then uh, these dents here are pretty much fixed I gotta go over one one more little skim on that and then there's a couple of there's a little dent there, a little dent there, a little hail dent. Other than that, not too bad. Okay, so uh, 
yeah I guess next time I come back I'll have it ready to prime I think that's you've already seen all this bondo work and blocking and all that stuff uh, in the last video so I won't go over it again but okay I'll be I'll be back in a while okay guys uh, yesterday we had another cold snap so it's the day after that um, I went ahead and primered got this whole quarter panel done and primered I just now primered it still a little bit wet and I got half the roof I fixed all this dents on this side but this side here was taking so much time and so many grinding discs to uh, do it uh, it was Bondo from here to here. It was all Bondo, and it's kind of the same way as the other side was right here. Like somebody's up there two-stepping on it or something. I banged some of the high spots out, but it's got a, it's got a pretty good size one there. And a couple of little ones here. And of course they bondoed right out over top of this old crap that's really hard to take off. So I still got this area here to take to strip down to the metal like this. And this kind of looks like flash rust, but it's that uh, rust neutralizer I put on there. I sprayed down on there. And I got a I got a dent right here to fix. So I never did finish the roof. Um, I sanded and reprimed this tail panel here, so that's pretty much ready to paint, I mean, after it's scuffed down. So I got some stuff in, I'll show you, uh, from eBay, got a set of tail lights assemblies, so they come with the lens, the housing, and the gasket. Uh, most places wanted like 200 for this set and I bought these Well, they shipped them in one box. I think but uh They were $83 each shipped so $166 for two of them Kind of like they were separate auctions Instead of buying them as a pair I wanted 200 for a pair or 166 if you bought it individually so anyway got them I uh, can't see if they fit yet because it's primer still wet. Okay, then I bought a pair of uh, mirrors. And I should have bought the square ones. I don't know why. I just got tired of looking at friggin' mirrors on eBay. And uh, Anyway, I got these ones here. They're uh, all metal. They're not the cheap plastic. And they're round. I guess I'll look okay. And it comes with all the... Comes with a gasket and stuff like that. So... Got that. Then I bought a air cleaner for the... Uh, 69 Chevelle here. And uh, I think it was about 30 bucks. These mirrors, I think, were like 65. Prices on mirrors just went up through the roof. Um, I should have bought a bigger air cleaner, but I, I don't think I... I just assumed it was a 14 or 15 inch. It's a Mr. Mr. Gasket thing, but it's only a 10 inch. But anyway, it's better than what's on there. And it comes with the... Uh, So I was fixing to do that right now. Because like I said before, this uh, filter is known to uh, break apart and go down the carburetor. That's... See, something's, it's already falling apart. So anyway, I'm going to take that off and put this on, and it comes with a uh, comes with some stuff there. So I'm going to put that on. I'll show you. 
uh, I did buy the or uh, paint the air cleaner for the Nova and I went down to AutoZone buy a new air filter for it well actually what I was gonna do instead of cutting holes in it like I said before I'll just get two air filters so it sits up like this as long as the hood closes um, so I didn't check beforehand. I usually do go online and check beforehand and get the part number and then just give the idiot there the part number because So I went down there said, you know, I need an air filter and well, is it a 4.1 or a 3.8? Which is a 230 or a 250? I said well, I don't think it matters and then he me one and uh, It looked too big and Sure enough, I got it home and it was it was too big so there, I guess there's a difference between a 230 and a 250. So then I looked it up and I got the part number for the 231. And uh, I'm going to go down there and exchange it and get get another filter. So I was going to do that this video, but I uh, didn't get back down there. But anyway, I'll be back when I get this air filter on there, see what it looks like. Okay, well, that'll do for now. I'd rather have a bigger one, taller one, longer one, but anyway, that's better than what was on there. Okay, um, I guess that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I only got the one quarter and half the roof done, but that's a lot of work. But, you know, we saved the price of two quarter panels and a taillight panel. <laughs> I mean, if you keep, if you add that up, I don't even know what a full quarter is, but it's got to be probably probably a thousand bucks for the quarter panels and tail light panel there that I fixed instead of uh, replaced. And that body filler, that's you know might have a lot of body filler in it. Well, it looks like it has a lot, but it's really it re really not. It's just a bunch of skims. It's just kind of like the last few skims were just like. Uh, putting on three or four coats of that uh real thick primer so it's only got two coats of primer on it okay so uh still got half the roof but other than that we just got the doors fenders and a hood to go so anyway uh i don't know how much uh I know we got a little rust patch here to to fix. Other than that, I don't know how much body filler and crap is in these doors and fenders and everything. But anyway, we'll get at it. Got to keep going. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, do a little work. I think I already mentioned this in this video. I do a little bit of work to the Corvette here. And a little bit more to the Chevelle. I like cars jacked up, but I just want this back end lowered at about two inches because it's just too stiff back there. I already have a, I think I put on three, I had my helper at the time, put on three inch shock extensions or two or three inch. Anyway, I'll have to undo them shocks, pop them springs out of there and see if I got a, a shorter set of springs. You know, you can heat them up, but I don't have a torch. And trying to heat them up and get them both even. I don't know. And I don't think I can cut them. I think I tried to cut them, but you'll lose that little area that puts uh, that, that it hooks up on, onto. But anyway, I got enough junk cars around here. I'll probably, I think I, I remember having some coil springs laying around. But anyway, I want to get it lowered just about two inches. So I'm going to be doing that. I got to do, I got some new hood struts coming from this Corvette, even though I bought some five or six years ago, but they're shot. And I got to fix that power window. And then uh, we're going to wash it up. And uh, I think we'll go for a ride in this. I haven't driven it since I put the other engine in it. It was actually pretty fast with the factory engine in it. But it, uh, bent a rod just trying to start it so I got another engine from another 85 Corvette but it ended up being 
a 7400 block that was all souped up with uh, a cam and roller roller lifter or roller rockers and uh, headers and all kinds of stuff on it so I don't know how fast it is I'm anxious to actually drive it on the road but the main thing is I got to tag this thing and I bought it what the t is it 2017 or 20 I don't know it's been about four or five years it was tagged when I bought it in 2017 so yeah that's almost five years ago and I drove it I drove it for a couple of months off and on and uh, while it was tagged and when the tags ran out I just parked it and I never put it in my name so I got a uh, a bunch of penalties coming I think it's gonna cost me I think it's gonna cost me about 500 bucks to friggin put this title in in my name and get tags for it but I need to do that before I test drive it so I may do that next week anyway uh, so that may be the next video on that 85 Corvette and I actually have a you got most of you guys probably haven't seen my when I first started YouTube I, I put I put together the three videos for the Chevelle, but I made a couple of this Corvette when I painted it, and uh, the story of it, I think, two of them. So I may do another one, fix some miscellaneous stuff, take it for a test drive, and maybe put that with the other two videos, make it all one big long video like that one. So anyway, that may be next. Uh, it's gonna be, in, in the 60 mid 60s for the next three or four days and then we're going to get another cold snap we had one yesterday only lasted one day it got down to like 40 something but next week as far as they can tell uh, is going to have at least two days with chance of snow like high of 38 and shit so winter ain't over yet so anyway, um, that's why I may put out that video because I won't be able to get much work done unless I come out here and get my heater going. So anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you all next video. Thanks everybody for watching.